Okay. Hello and welcome to Unroll for Initiative. Uh, welcome to the second episode of Hive Swap Act, Hive Swap Act 1. Uh, so last episode was a half hour, which was an accident. Uh, yay, double episode. I'm planning to do 15 minutes apiece going forward. So, and I actually set a timer this time, which I forgot to do last time. Also, I've learned where the save button is which flashed in front of me like three times before I found the diary and I didn't notice. So, um, we're obviously gonna- this is obviously bode well for my point-and-click adventuring skills. It's the 11th of November. Today started off just like any other day, with another sunrise and the sound of song songbirds going hog-wild out there in the trees. But their songs have all but stopped. And now there's something else going hog wild out there. You don't know what it is, but it ain't birds, and it sure as heck ain't hogs. I li I like the image of like one bird that's still resolutely singing, even though there's all these crazy mouth monsters out there. Just like, nah, I'm not. You're not interrupting my performance for this. Mark. Is it the same text either way? No, that's not exciting. Does this... What? I did everything in the dark? <laughs> Whoops. Well, <laughs> okay. We'll just keep to that aesthetic and go for it. Wasn't locked. Looks like the coast is clear for now. Um... Better hurry over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent you mean snake can get the drop on you. Um, I'm taking advantage of my computer being a touchscreen because my mouse is being weirdly laggy. Why do you have a signless sufferer plush? Alright. I can dig it. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and then head up to the attic, right? Yes, you've been over this, Joey. Affirmative also refrain from excess chatter. Over. Right, yeah. Bye. Could alert monsters. Over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful in espionage game, Joey. You're talking more than she is, dude. Silence, Golden. Over. Dude, shut up. Remember one time on training mission couldn't keep my trap shut? Who boy really landed us in a pickle? Over. You've never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie. Bye. All right, click. It is a globe-like sculpture with an arrow that conveniently alerts you to the location of a ceiling. Ah, so that's where it is. Thank you, globe-like structure. Sculpture. You give it a tap. Wow, look at it go. Well, that was stimulating. Okay, much better. Are you a thing? Are you a thing? Are you a thing? The door to your room. Heavily personalized, of course. Dude thinks he's the only one who can nerd up his door, but you showed him too, Ken, and in fact will play at that game. Open. Oh, I, I was honestly not expecting it to let me just go back there. But thou must. Um. <laughs> Be like. Something was only a clever distraction, masking a secret abduction. Nope, his friends brought him a special surprise. Jude insisted the terrified horse was being abducted. Your counter-argument completely schooled him. The painting now commemorates your triumph and a particularly spectacular equine nativity. It's your mother's jewelry box, a priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appear to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. This thing's always given you the creeps, but that didn't stop you from patching it up after Jude accidentally ripped it with an experimental, foamless dart. If 
bunch of stuff that should be moved into the attic. There's some toys here. Eh. Some toys here too that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically, a pile of useless trash. Okay. Not. The hallway seems spookier from this side. Frankly, you feel a little spookier yourself, just basking in its spooky aura. Okay. Exit. Not ready to go to the attic yet. From the first and last dark gun war with Jude, Belinda here provides great cover for those who refuse to use firearms, namely you. You tried to distract him with your tap dancing and then stick a dart on him. It didn't work. At all. This gun can shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. You don't use guns. What are you, Batman? <laughs> Interesting tableau. This lady was just hanging out in her all together. Which, you mean, who are you to judge? Except it made you slightly uncomfortable, so you churched her up a little. You feel kind of silly about it now, but... Whatever, you were like eight. So it definitely told me where the closet is that I gotta go, and I already forgot. So we're just gonna wander aimlessly, like smart people. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Not a thing I can click on, apparently. Your light bright. Hours of fun with the number of hours and the degree of fun dependent on the power of your imagination. Which in your case means many hours and a lot of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. You've always been a bit creeped out by the monster in the water. It feels like the eye is following you, but only sometimes. Joey, is there anything in your house that doesn't creep you out? That isn't yours? This lamp's not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light sources in your immediate area, so maybe it got lost in the typically well-illuminated shuffle. Nope. Same text. The hallway closet. If memory serves, there's a box of old, some old belongings of yours in there. You wonder if it has what you're looking for. This is the door to your neurotic dork of a brother's maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? It's full of nerd stinking goober crud. Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, just the same. That's one you'd rather let you deal with. Open? He always keeps it locked. Even if you did manage to get in, he probably has traps set up. Not worth trying to get gum out of your hair again. Plus, there'd be his pet to deal with. No thanks. Warning to stop radiation remove key from PA interlock. No trespassing me on this point. Jude recommended you grab your strife weapon from the hall closet and head up to the attic as quick as you can. You're sticking with that plan for now. Okay. There's the gating. Wait, I already looked at you. Open. Look. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach. Mm -hmm. You wonder what your next step should be. Is it a step stool? Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. You think back to before. Back to when this closet door was shut. You had a reasonably good guess about what was inside. But now, your guess is even more reasonable. Okay. What happens if I do search? Can't search the box while it's still up on the shelf. Okay. How do I use you? There we go. Yay! 
Wonder what's stashed in here. Nothing fragile, you hope. You pick through the box and find your flashlight and an old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh hey, there's some pet treats in here too. You keep caches of these all over. Never know when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click the... oops. You open it up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude! Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. Fine. Okay, but I'm not gonna take especially good care of them. Please protect Mulder at all costs. Over. Ugh, you and Mulder. This scully pog is obviously where it's at. Terms acceptable. Keep them safe. She's yours. Over. So I guess I head up to the attic now. That is the plan. Over. Something gonna attack me? I have a sneaking suspicion. I better shake a leg then. Affirmative. Over and out. Look. You got this toy caterpillar so you could learn how to cure caterpillar diseases. But it turns out plush caterpillars don't get sick. Still pretty cute though. Be friend. The caterpillar can't help you, and you can't help the caterpillar. Not a productive friendship, but at least nobody's being taken care of, taken advantage of. You're loath to touch it and disturb whatever astronomically improbable equilibrium is at play. Best just leave it be. A bunch of stuff that should be moved into the attic. Same as the stuff at the bottom. Nope. On the rare occasions he is home, Pa can be heard bumping around up here while tending to his hoard of stupid antique trash. Or priceless artifacts, you mean. No, you don't. It's locked! But you need to get in here as soon as you can. You peer through the keyhole. Spoopy. What could it be? Is all the blue light radiating from a blue beauty? Weird, what the heck was that thing? And how long has it been there? Hey, the attic door is locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part, over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of a locked door. It is not fine, over. Jude! Panic not necessary! Still need to get you to attic, over. For safety, right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that. Over. Although, so far, it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please, just need you to head to trophy room. Over. Oh, gross. I hate that place. Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant. Over. Fine. Over and out. Okay. No, on second thought, maybe half hour episodes for this one makes more sense. Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. To Jake, my biggest fan. A. Claire. Ooh la la, that their mom is looking très glamnifique. When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors will look like. You and your very good dog. Aww. Pa and someone you presume is his sister? Nobody has ever mentioned, not, the two, not that the two of you talk much. Kinda weird to think you might have, like, a second cousin out there you've never met. Maybe she died young. The old-timey times were pretty tough, pretty rough. A lovely diptych of school portraits. The laser background, the bad hair days. Simply perfection. Haha, <laughs> Jude puts the dip in diptych, you mutter to yourself. Such an unreal burn on the unsuspecting chump. But he probably wouldn't even get it. Come to think of it, maybe neither do you? So 
So there aren't any pictures of the three of you together, so you tried to make one. Though the art, through the art of composition. By hanging these three solo photos together, it's kind of like there's a photo of all three of you. Sorta. Mom is the picture of grace and radiance. And Pa's just Pa. Seriously, has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and, a, and mustache. Or at least one of the two. You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. By now, probably more than with Ma and Pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. Until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family is like, but it's probably not your place to ask. Pa used to be great with animals. You wonder what happened? Maybe... betrayal? No, impossible. Look how good that dog is. That dog never betrayed anybody in his entire life. You would stake your entire reputation on it. The whole thing. Ugh, you can't even look at this picture. You deplore cruelty to animals. One of the many ways you and your father never saw eye to eye. One of the other ways was how he never actually looked at you much, let alone at your eyes. So, head to the trophy room? Affirmative. Over. Got it. Over now. I... Why did you put a, a little mark on the thing if it wasn't going to tell me anything new? Is Jude going to be my Navi? This guy. What's he so happy about anyway? His expression probably made more sense in its original context. That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever that your pa plundered him from. Uh-oh. Well, it seems the power is out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure. Which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem that the power's out. Classic psyops over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally. Over. Not literally. It's still like late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting to trophy room then. Over. <clears throat> fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. <coughs> This bookshelf contains several of Pa's books, including Pistols to Pelts, How to Turn Sweet, Intelligent Animals into Weird Rugs and Stuff, Teach Yourself Taxidermy, I guess, and Safari, Stories of Bold Men and the Animals They Killed from a Distance Even Though They Weren't Hungry and Did Not Intend to Eat Them. Oh, go back, there's still things to look at. Look, just your reliable old portable cassette player, complete with headphones. Jude can occasionally be found using it to even further isolate himself from reality. A beanbag chair, super comfy and thankfully not filled with real beans. You could take a nap, but you've kinda got a lot going on right now, you know? And don't let that stop me. You shouldn't either, Joey. Salvage. Dead batteries, of course, seems to be a running theme. Okay. Proceed! Look. You can't tell if the noises you hear are from the monsters or the wind. It's either some particularly whooshy monsters or some really groany wind. Open? Leaving the protection of your home seems like a bad idea. Might be creatures and weirdos of way out there. You think you will stay inside where your chances of meeting creatures and weirdos are still pretty good, honestly. Look, I take that with A piano can be used to turn the slight motion of one's fingers into music. This ivories, how they beg to be tickled. But you mustn't! Also, you, uh, K. 
can't. Oh, that would be just the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone for the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe? It's a shame that you would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Also, you can't really play the piano. This piece was too depressing, so you gave it a nice refinishing. If your pa has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. Hmm. You wonder if you'll be driving by then. To college? Where you teach. Because you are an adult and 20 years have passed? The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp. Goodness, you'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. Pa's major totem of power. The clunky gadget controls the TV, the garage door, toaster, thermostat, and pretty much everything else with a charge running through it. It's pretty hefty. Scavenge? You pop open this behemoth and SCORE! You pocket the E-cell batteries right into the old Solidex. We're gonna need some D-cell batteries if you want this flashlight to serve any purpose other than an emergency POG storage container and a very poorly designed paperweight. These batteries are so huge they don't even begin to fit. Like fitting a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You'll need some D-cell batteries. Man, what a tease. There sure are things flapping around out there. Okay, keep going. Oh man, the lamps just keep getting worse. This lamp makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. Is done looking? No! Oh, what is this? The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Are there band-aids on the radio? It's off, and it'll stay that way. That's the tuner. It's for tuning the radio. Yep, by golly! Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14 and even you can tell this is just really crummy. The power is off and as such your fax machine is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. You visualize all the delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator, but are not. Snack. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Look, you're not saying you never have home-cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. Just, well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is you can just eat it right out of the boxes and then throw the boxes away. Of course, none of you really like taking up the trash, either. You're even out of dog food? Things really have gotten desperate. You guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was, retrospectively, the worst possible time. There are monsters out there, watching, working up an appetite. If only we had dog food to feed them! With all those monsters out there, you think you'll leave it shut. Also, you don't actually know how to open this window, short of breaking it. The backyard used to be so much more awesome before the monster showed up. Nope. <laughs> you really don't want to go out there right now, tempting though it is to go rake more leaves. T oh, oops. Ah, oh, the struggle of the monster-bothered leaf pile enthusiast. You keep meaning to start a zine. No. The zinc is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. And this is clearly the appropriate time. No, no way! 
You did the last time. It's Jude's turn now. You know what? After he completely ditched you for the treehouse earlier, maybe it can be Jude's turn for quite some time. The tube highway that Jude's pet uses to get around the house. You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. Is it a monster hamster? This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been ever since your pa left him here months ago. With the power out, you're going to need some kind of light source before setting foot down this broken neck trap. Is that the trophy room or is that something else? Yeah, not a lot of chance of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. These used to be stacked neatly on the shelves, but your big dog came clamoring through and slammed right into them. They tumbled everywhere. That was about three years ago. You aren't great housekeepers. <laughs> Angry cat! You've always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the lion looks so alive. Whoever painted it must have had a very good imagination. Either that or they painted it very, very fast. Or they took a photo and then painted off the photo. The teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It was named for its founder and chief physician, Arsala Teddy Bear. No. Already looked at that. Boy, your pa really gets invented with this taxidermy, huh? What a ghoul. I don't know, I think that's a pretty sick-ass grandfather clock. You should probably be in a museum. Oops. <coughs> oh my. <coughs> Excuse me. It is allergy season. Yeah, this is this is really spoopy. This room is really giving you the creeps. Listen. You hear something breathing. Something else, you mean, besides you. Damn game, I was gonna make that joke. You sure did scoop me. Hmm. Ah, a thing. Oh, that was the door. Just as you passed into the living room, Pulling the door shut behind you, it shuddered as something heavy and wet slammed against it from the other side. I can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd. Rest of house navigable? Over. Considered utilizing a flashlight? Over. You mean the one you filled with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please. Over. No use dwelling on past? Over. It doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, recommend focus on restoring power before sun sets completely. Over. Ah, oh, jeez, you're right. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over on secure channel. Over and out. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage over... That's not really a tip. That's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit Breaker probably in basement, over. See, that was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best, over and out. Okay, so I need to find batteries so that I can go in the basement without breaking my neck. And, uh, looks like I'm going to have to do that on the next episode. And, yes, I'm going with half-hour episodes because, at least so far, not enough is happening in 15 minutes to seem reasonable. Um, so, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. 
and hopefully I'll find batteries really quickly on the next one. Until next time, bye bye